Welcome back troglodytes to the Troglies Guitar Show, your daily dose of guitar information. This week we've got a not so Fender Friday that ties off of the number two video on my channel that I did back in April, the Nylon String Stratocaster. Just in case you missed this episode, it was an Yngwie Malmsteen signature guitar that was done in the late 90s that had no traditional pickups in it because it was a nylon string guitar. It had a piezo pickup in it. And on top of that, the darn thing had a scalloped fretboard. But the guy who is selling that guitar is actually fairly well known in the classical guitar world and his name is Ben Woods. He's well known of taking like hard rock and metal songs and transforming them into classical pieces. I dig this stuff so definitely check out his channel too because he is our sponsor for today's video. Because he took that guitar that he purchased, reverse engineered it, and created the Nylocaster. And in doing so, he changed all the things that he didn't really like about that Yngwie signature and made it more useful to him. He built this out of necessity. As a live gigging Spanish guitar player, there were a few things that he needed to find a solution for. First off, he didn't like the regular ergonomics of the classical styled instruments. He found them a little bit uncomfortable to play, especially when standing. Features like the large necks were hard on his hands and wrists after hours of play. He wasn't a fan of the uneven string balance because it required a lot of work on the saddles to get each string to be the exact volume. It was hard for him to adjust his action and intonation on the fly. And some of those guitars didn't even have truss rods. On top of that, he was dealing with unstable tuning as well as feedback issues, which I could definitely see being a big issue with a classical styled instrument. And he didn't like that those instruments were a little bit more fragile, more susceptible to heat and humidity changes. It's very easy to crack the wood of those instruments. So he developed this to kind of just take the place of his classical guitars when he's playing out live. Not only does it look rock and roll, but it still sounds like a nylon string classical guitar. So it's an electric guitar with nylon strings. Why can't you just put nylon strings on a regular guitar and call it a day? Because nylon strings don't work with magnetic pickups like that. You have to use a special type of pickup, in this case it's a piezo. And on his research, it's the only solid body nylon string guitar that is passive. That's kind of a huge thing here, because even that old Yngwie signature needed a battery in order to operate the pickup system. I don't know about you guys, but I hate having to have batteries in guitars. It's kind of a necessity if you're doing like EMGs and usually a piezo type system, but that's what makes this incredibly special, is you don't even have to have that in there, which is a feature I really enjoy. And he did that by designing a special piezo bridge that is exclusive to the Nylocaster. It's actually branded Nylocaster on it but you're still able to adjust the intonation and the action as you would normally do on an electric guitar. He currently has a few of these in stock. You can find both hardtail and tremolo unit versions, but these are guitars that he takes and modifies himself. These start off as brand new Squire Affinity Strats for the tremolo versions and Squire Bullets for the standards. He spent a year prototyping and he tried all kinds of different Fender USA, Fender Made in Mexico, Squire models at all different price ranges just to see what would work best for his modifications. In his opinion, the Squire Bullets actually handled the Nylocaster mods the best, so that's what he decided to use and that kind of helped him keep the cost down as well. It was kind of a happy accident for him. And he likes that these bodies are particularly lightweight because it's closer to the weight and feel of an acoustic. The base hardtail models feature a nut width which is 2 millimeters wider than the average Strat neck, so it kind of feels closer to a classical neck in that aspect. However, the upgraded tremolo unit models are more for standard guitars with that traditional 40 millimeter nut width. Another feature you're going to notice that's missing from this one as compared to that Yngwie model is there's no longer any type of volume or tone control. While in some of his prototypes he toyed around with moving it in certain areas, for him he felt they just got in the way. And looking at the Yngwie model, I can definitely see how that would be the case. So he says if you need to control that, you usually have like a pedal board for that. So that really opens up and cleans up the look of this whole instrument. And another fun thing is he says they handle effects pedals very well, including distortion. So now that we've talked about it and kind of understand what Ben Woods is offering everybody, let's go ahead and hear how it sounds.
perfect tune, even with nylon strings. Check it out. The only question left, would you rock a Nilo caster or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.